Are you ready? It's week six and welcome inside the PYFL South Division Jersey Mike's wrap up show. I'm your host Neil Sika. We're here to have some fun. In the coming moments we've got some great games from the senior, junior and midget divisions. It's all just ahead. We'll do it Mike's way. Keep it right here on the Jersey Mike's wrap up show. Welcome back to the PYFL South Jersey Mike's wrap up show in the senior division battle for first place in the national conference Burbank Green the Vikings looking to stay unbeaten while the Highland Eagles right on their tail at three and one. Let's check out what transpired on Saturday. It's the national conference of the senior South division Burbank senior green looking to stay unbeaten against the Highland Eagles first quarter Guy Gibbs to Michael Woods for a 20-yard touchdown pass as he breaks a few tackles to get inside there. The early lead for the Vikings. Then it's Jake Kelly who would have a huge day and convert the two-point conversion on the sweep. Highland driving. But it's Antonio Tucker with the interception here and returning it 30 yards down the sideline to give the Vikings the football back. They're in business, already up 8-zip. But the drive would stall there. Highland getting the football back. But it'd be the Burbank secondary again. Coming up big, Khalid Taylor jumps in front for the INT. And TD returns it all the way to the house at the end of the first quarter. 16-0 after the two-point conversion. Good. And Highland forced to punt again. And it's Antonio Tucker taking it down the sideline. Adding to the route. For Burbank, Tucker goes all the way, 57 yards for the score. Cameron Sweeten would add on the extra point with the run up the middle. And a field day for the team in green. But Highland, they'd show a little bit of character with their defense. The interception here to stop the bleeding for the moment. Just a play later, it'd be Michael Woods and Jake Kelly teaming up with the big hit at the goal line and forcing the fumble in turn. Third turnover for Highland and Burbank up 24-0. Inside reverse, it's Jake Kelly. Splitting the defenders and going 65 yards for the touchdown. Kelly, over 100 yards rushing on that carry. The extra point is up and good. 31 to nothing at the half. And just for good measure, that defense forced three first half turnovers. On second down, it's Kelly stripping the ball away. That'd be one of two force fumbles and fumble recoveries for number 24 on your screen. The big day rushing over 100 yards, the two-point conversion and a touchdown. And Kelly 
would cap it off defensively here once more. The strip, the recovery, and putting a bow on it. And Burbank Green, still unbeaten. They win it 31 to six. Big conference showdown, Simi and the Canyon Outlaws battling at Simi Valley High School. What a day for number 26. 80 yards on the opening kickoff. The man in blue down the sideline for the touchdown. It was 6 0 Simi Valley. But speaking of big games, how about Henry Arellano? Next drive for Canyon from five yards out. Good patient run into the end zone for the score. Game tied at six. Simi took it inside the red zone. But the pressure here, forcing the interception. Jake Gavin picking this off inside the 10. Now watch the return. More importantly, watch the blocking. Detonating. And Gavin goes all the way to the 13 yard line. Canyon in business. First play of the second quarter, Arellano on the toss, walks it in. Second touchdown, Cannon in front 12 to six. There's 26 for Simi to the outside. Much like his run on the opening kickoff, this time to the far sideline and down 60 yards for the touchdown, his second. He'd make it a third on this option pitch from 13 yards away. Simi had a halftime lead, but then Canyon taking over in the second half. Carlos Costanza, good block out in front. Arellano's third touchdown from 45 yards away. He can run. Oh, he can also catch two. No one kept an eye out of him. Over the top and down the middle. Arellano, four touchdowns. And then, still back to work on the ground. Goes for 30 on this carry. Trying to ice it. 26 points in the second half. Priest, the quarterback, gonna put a bow on it over the top. The touchdown to Jake Gavin. 44-38, Canyon wins. I'm Drew Brees, and I wanna introduce you to Swink.tv. Swink.tv is an amazing new online video service that lets you create personal highlight videos of your best plays. With Swink.tv, you can share all your highlights with all of your fans in seconds. If your team isn't signed up for Swink.tv, ask your coach to get with the program. And if you're already on Swink.tv, well, now's your chance to log in, create your Swink, and show off your moves. I wish I had this when I was younger. I'd have been all over it. Remember, with Swink.tv, you are the highlight. The junior division had one of the games of the week in all of Southern California. The Lancaster Jets and the North Oxnard Warriors battling and it became a shootout. The names alone were enough to tune in for this one. Billy the Kid Christ for North Oxnard has been running down the sideline all season long. While Bam Bam Van Buren was making things happen for Lancaster. Let's take a look at the action. At the junior level, Oxnard High School for the North Division. Lancaster in white and green, North Oxnard red and white. Early first quarter action, Elijah Martin finding Bam Bam Van Buren on a screen for a nice game inside the 10. First and goal for the Jets. Then it's Jamal Bell. The touchdown run to the outside. Bell, one of the fastest guys in the league. Conversion try no good, 6-0 Lancaster. But nightmares for the white and green defense because this guy, Billy Christ, he had himself a ball game. 57-yard touchdown run. Conversion good, it's 8-6. North Oxnard. Warriors up by two. But here's Bam Bam again. Van Buren busting tackles, and there is that Bam Bam prowess. Gets into the end zone. What a work ethic. Touchdown. Back with the football, North Oxnard. The deep ball over the top, and Ricky Lopez racing 72 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. The conversion good, 14-12 at that point, North Oxnard. This was a shootout. Jets with the football back. And on the end around of the near side, 
Look at the running by Bam Bam Van Buren. Thought he was out of bounds. No, he still goes, reversing his field all the way to the other side. And down the sideline for the 58-yard touchdown run. My goodness. Some highlights that'll make your top 10. It's 18-14 with the Jets back in the lead. Look, he was out of breath. North Oxnard, Billy Chris back the other way. Open and into the end zone. The second deep ball, and it's 22-18. That's at the end of the first quarter. Lancaster with it. High octane offense, what a defensive play though. Broken up, Darius Jackson picks it off. Down inside the 20, he read that screen well. And North Oxnard, oh, a little bit of trickery on the option read, kept ahead. And a touchdown by Thomas Duckett, 30 to 18 Warriors. But it's Jalen O'Neal with this nifty run. Look at him shimmy left and right to come back and take it down to the 20. 30 yards on that pickup. Then out of the pistol, it's straight ahead for Bam Bam Van Buren, the three yard keeper. 30 to 26, almost at halftime, not quite. Because look at Billy Christ. He's gonna take the ensuing kickoff all the way. Third touchdown of the first half, 36-26 Warriors. Lancaster though. Trying to keep it close, but it's Bam Bam who fumbles. Van Buren loses the football, and North Oxnard recovers. Back on defense, it's Christ making that big play in center field, picking it off and racing down the sideline with it. Three touchdowns and the INT for Christ. Then the pressure, though, of the Lancaster defense, trying to keep him in there. Still down 10. That was Martin on that last sack, but it was just too much Chris in the end. Knifing his way down the sideline. And Chris, with this touchdown run of the fourth quarter, two rushing TDs, a receiving TD, fumble recovery, a kickoff return TV, TD, and a reception for a touchdown. Billy Chris, what a ball game. 44-26 the final. North Oxnard with the win. Stick around, we're back to put a bow on this edition of the PYFL South Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show. Standings are next. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University, the most exclusive football training in the country, invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. FBU, now. Things ultimately shaping up for a good postseason push in the PYFL South. Let's break down all the divisions with their standings. Before we go, a special thanks to Jersey Mike's for this exciting digital platform for all of our youth athletes and coaches so they can showcase themselves and their teams. Jersey Mike's is a sub sandwich franchise with over 750 locations nationwide that are open and under development. They've got a long history of community involvement and support. The East Coast style subs provide over 70% of the daily protein for youth and high school athletes. That's why they'll be fueling up all season long at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, the FBU National Championship, the East Bay Youth All-American Bowl, and the FBU camps all across the country. This is Neil Sika. Please join us next time where we'll wrap it up Mike's way here on the Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show. Until then, good night. Be sure to check out all the youth football action on jerseymikes.com FBU.